upcoming car trends and trials. Hello, it's Elizabeth from the Homework Guide team bringing you an automotive news update for September. If you wish, stay tuned to our community page for updates on Kevin's recovery. Thank you for the outpouring of prayers and support. When we think of muscle cars, we think loud engines, rip start power, and blowing the carbon out. Well, Dodge has a new angle on the old muscle cars it's so famous for. Imagine an electric muscle car. Their aim is to keep their current performance-based customer, but draw a new type of customer. I'll say, I just didn't think you'd see any electric car drivers attending the Saturday morning Speedway drag races. Oh well, time will tell because this doesn't roll out until 2024. Speaking of old things and new things, remember GM's Quadrasteer, about 20 years old? The idea was to turn on a dime at speeds of up to 45 miles per hour and all four tires would stay on the road. Well, the idea tanked in the early 2000s because Quadrasteer was only available at the highest trim levels, and only about 16,000 vehicles sold. The new 2023 Chevy Silverado Electric is bringing this technology back. Technically speaking, the battery life could last longer with the new four-wheel steer because the smaller the turning circle, the shorter the distance the truck has to travel. It's hard to say if that's enough to make up for the additional 300 pounds of metal needed in the rear axle to make it all work. What do you think, Homework Guy viewers? Does the four-wheel steering technology appeal to you? How would you use this vehicle in your day-to-day -day life? Comment below with your thoughts. Thanks. Let's shift over to Mercedes. Due to the microchip shortage for the first half of the 2022 production year, Mercedes has decided to cancel its V8 engines. <gasps> Dealers that placed orders for V8s will be given V4 and V6 cars instead. That feels like when you order the triple burger and you get to the window and they hand you a double, right? If you drive a V8 Mercedes, you're probably well off like pro athletes, entertainers, doctors, etc. And you're used to getting what you want specifically. It could be bad timing too because Jeep and Land Rover aren't canceling their competing V8s. Here's the rundown of that competing 2022 Jeep called the Grand Wagoneer. In case you haven't sat in a new vehicle in a long while, here's a snapshot of Jeep's top technology dog right now. It boasts state-of-the-art technology to strengthen your connection to your SUV and engage with your vehicle like never before. Keep track here, and if you microchip experts want to comment below, how many chips will it take to run this new Jeep? Hmm, and will there be enough available for 2022? Remember how we shared that given manufacturers are cutting out vehicle features so they can move the new car inventory more quickly? Well, this Jeep isn't taking any shortcuts. Here we go. There are 75 inches of pixel perfect screens available in both the first and second rows. And you can view your trip info, address the temperature, and use the in-vehicle entertainment system on screens as well. There's a third row seat, and with the interior view camera, you can see the kids all the way in the back on your display. Grand Wagoneer also has the first ever Macintosh audio system with 23 speakers that you can fine tune. Add the massaging seats with the control display and the triplane sunroof and you'll feel like you're on vacation on your way to work. To pay for this big boy, Jeep Grand Wagoneer starts with Series 1 at 87590, Series 2 at 94590, Obsidian at 99590, but to get all the features, you'll have to shell out 103000 995 for the series three all right if you appreciate our video today consider giving us a great big thumbs up and please always remember to comment on our videos and share them with your family and friends comments really matter because they help boost our searchability and lead others to great homework guy content too if you want to show your support for the homework guy kevin on his road to recovery consider a tip via paypal and the links are in the description box and above my head here thanks the entire Homework Guy team is here to represent you, the car buyer, and that's what we love to do. Thanks, everyone, for coming back. We'll see you on our next video. As Kevin always says, you guys rock. I'm the amazing Elizabeth. Gotta go.